Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 2. Last time, we finally made it to the Sirem Kingdom. Apparently these are the descendants of the people of darkness, whatever that means. But uh, before I rest to the inn, I want to do some exploring. Hello. Oh, young lady, are you new in town? Please allow me to show you around. Maybe we can go swimming in the waterways? Dude! To get to the waterways, take this street, then turn right toward the harbor. Then go left of the square. The castle's behind that. Thanks, Rowan. You are very helpful. Now, I am sorry. Is there something you wanted? I didn't hear you before. Well, right now, I've got to go help set up the bazaar that starts tomorrow in the plaza. It's going to be loads of fun. You say so. Alright. So, uh, let's talk to people. Son of Mao, you have a portrait. You must be important. Wow, this town is great. It's so fun. You even just watch people walking around. Yes, this town is certainly a trade hub so you can see all sorts of people here. Who have you seen so far? I saw one lady who had horns and a guy with a long tail. And that man with the mane behind you. <laughs> oh, you mean Morig? A man with the mane, eh? So I guess you are a boy with the bushy ears. Hmm. There are so many kinds of people in this town. They walk with different rhythms. Rhythms? Sure, lady, you go tech tech. Get Mr. You go dush and dush and right? Ha. <laughs> I walk with a dosh and dosh and rhythm. I find your rhythmic talents amazing. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Mario's such a happy guy. New visitors? If so, maybe you'd like to visit the square in front of the castle gate okay, before you go to your inn. At the plaza now, you can see a bizarre being is being set up. <laughs> it's going to be a big one. A big one this time. So what will I have, I wonder? Oh, and by the way, off screen, I uh, did some... Uh, shopping here, and I uh, equipped some, all the new stuff that we found along the way. So let's see, so yeah, this is uh, what I have on everybody. You don't uh, particularly have to have these, at least not for uh, the accessories. The accessories you can choose, but mostly, like I said before, I just went with uh, higher defense on everybody. And there you go. Also, uh, spent all my coins, pretty much. So we have some new magic abilities and all that. So that's good. And anyway, let's see where I want to go. Let's see. Alright, let's talk to you. Hey little fella, you, you want to go to the festival with me tomorrow? You're just so cute. Huh? You mean me? Uh, I, 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 I really don't know. What's with you boys? You're all like that, Mike and Michael and... Okay... <laughs> How about you? This bazaar is the biggest and loveliest one so far. Wanna know the secret behind that? Sure, I would l I would like to know. Please tell me. Haha, <laughs> this is the hundredth bazaar. Yes sir, number one hundred since the day I was born. That's why. Well, good for you. Sheesh, does this lady think that being old is fun? <laughs> Anyway, I think I want to go this way. Um, is that where I want to go? Yeah. Because, remember, we agreed to uh, take a, a message to uh, that guy's son. My dad, he's in a place called Say Time Papal State doing something. Yeah, we met him. After my mom got sick and died, my dad started drinking all the time. Avon said he had to stop it, so he's doing something about it now. Oh, tell me, is your name Mark? Yeah, how come you knew my name already? We met your father in St. Time Papal State. He has to tell you that he's hanging in there. Wonderful. My dad is doing okay, eh? That means he'll come home soon. Even the noble wolf occasionally leaves the den to hunt for a better life for his pack. Your father will return in due time. Thank you all, all of you. I'm so happy I could hear uh, something from my dad. Please, here's a small thank you gift. We get another pop nut. Pop nuts, it looks like. Pop nuts, eh? Your father also gave us some of these. But I think it's just uh, one pop nut, so don't worry about it. Okay, and um. I just want to do that now, and there's other people we can talk to, but there's really not uh, much to do until we go to rest at the inn. Hello. Tomorrow's the festival, but since I'm a soldier, I can't take the day off. What a bummer. My girlfriend starts pestering me, saying, well, at least we could party all night. It'll be a sleepy day at work tomorrow, ha. Huh. Oh boy. <laughs> For a soldier, this guy's a bit too laid back. Relaxing the job gets you killed. Beautiful. Everyone must relax sometime. True. 
My boyfriend's working tomorrow, despite the festival, or maybe because of it. Ain't that something, haha? <laughs> wait, wait, so he's working tomorrow? What's so funny about that? He can't go out during the day, so we're staying up all night tonight. Yikes, you, uh, are very open about your love life, aren't you? Well, uh, let's, uh, leave them to that, and this slowdown that's happening for some reason. And, uh, yeah, let's just go to the inn. Alright, if you do hear, like, weird, like, chunks of audio missing, it's because there might be a chance that the audio will, game audio will, uh, kind of skip around and I'll have to change something, so don't worry about it. Anyway, let's spend the night. Boy, am I having a good time. Oh, guess you want to spend the night? Sorry, but I can't put you up tonight. With the festival and all. What? Ah. Uh, festival? Hmm. I've seen you somewhere. Oh my, aren't you the pri- uh, uh, Who are you talking about? You seem to be enjoying yourself. What is happening at the festival? Oh. Uh, the day after tomorrow, the king himself will be holding a festival commemorating the founding of the country. I hear the king will be making an important announcement. All boys in the kingdom are to meet at the castle. Maybe they found some treasure underneath the castle and they're going to show it off. How oh, odd. Ah, something is afoot. Excuse me, sir. Can you please put my fins up for the night? No, you don't have much, so you can all can stay for free. That's convenient. Mr. Ryudo, I must first go home. Please, spend the night here. I shall return tomorrow. Why can't we just stay at your place? Okay, take care then. What's with him? He doesn't want us to see his home or tent or whatever. There is nothing to be done. Allow the cub his privacy, for if we would be so thoughtless as to follow. His family would be awfully surprised to see a strange party. Ah, that's true. Right, we'll take it easy for him then. I guess we have some free time. Let's check out the town. Town bustles with color. Surely there are some amongst the many who would have traveled here who knew of the Divine Sword. So you guys are looking for something, eh? When I go to the bazaar, they're holding it in the castle square. Lots of people come from uh, all around. Lots of people from all around. Oh, I would love to go there. Might be just what we need. Fables legends hide truths which may yet be of use to us. I would hear these people's words. Ah, uh, yes. At the back of the square you'll find someone named Hembel. He might know something. But he's diffi a difficult man to deal with. He won't talk to you if he doesn't like you. Difficult? What sort of person does he like? Miss, just how strong is this young man here? Well, Ryudo is very strong. I trust him completely. Okay, then, listen. When you go see Hembel, make sure he knows what a wonderful couple you are. A uh, well, wonderful couple? Look at her blushing. Like I said, he's strange, but he'll sh he'll be sure to talk to you. I tell you, buddy, you're a heck of a lucky guy to have a lovely girl like her. Shouldn't be too hard to play kissy poo. No. <laughs> <laughs> me? No, 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 no. He's working for me. I'm a sister of Granis. Uh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> I note with some dismay that she's still unable to tell when people are messing with her. At least not, uh, no one outside of our party, I guess. What am I doing? Why am I so... Such silly words. It's Ryudo's fault. He did not deny it immediately. Oh, Lord Granis, please forgive my shameful behavior. Oh, don't be like that. He does not see. I am a sister of the church, Ryudo. Yes, Ryudo is just a hired hand. He should know better. I might as well go to sleep. Ah, Look who's come to play. What is this woman doing? Ha, I know. 
<laughs> hmm, I see. So we can no longer hide it from the people. I believe your highness's speech tomorrow will bring everyone to their senses. And what about that man? Oh, so you were here. Your Highness, does something worry you? I want to thank you. My people's wishes will finally come true. The Princess Medal is no longer necessary. Exactly. Now all the fears of the people of darkness have disappeared. You may rest assured. <laughs> well, that was uh, ominous, to say the least. Hey, Elena, wake up! Out of bed! Didn't you say you want to go to the bazaar? Oh no, Ryudo, I'm coming. That's a very big bed. Oh, look at that face. What's this? Elena, I know you like Ryudo. Let him know it. Huh? Come on, get up. Hey, princess. Hey, sister. Uh, I'm coming right now. <laughs> I think uh, Millennia put makeup on uh, Elena. Morning. What's wrong? You, you all right? Well, I guess we go back to the bazaar, right? To the back of the bazaar, right? That's right. The bazaar is held in the castle square. Take care. Come on, let's go. A moment. What's up, Marek? As I understand it, more than two a couple does not make. It would be rather odd were I to accompany you. I shall make my way to the harbor while you conduct your affairs. Alright. Well, who knows how we swing. You don't want to judge. <laughs> Wait, Mark. Don't leave me alone with... You do. Yeah, someone should check out the docks. Come on, what's wrong, Elena? We going or not? Yes, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see. So there are certain things we can do right now with just us two. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see, do people have anything new to say? Oh, on a date? I envy you. It's no fun being alone in a time like this. But, but we are not on a date. Just that we are in a rather complicated situation. Neither of us have much choice. Oh, it's okay. People, don't worry about me. Festivals are for couples. Go have my share of the fun, too. Like you, you have a date. A hot one, too. You guys get to smooch all over town. What? No, we are not. He and I are not here on a date. You do, he is my, my... Um, her date, actually. And yeah, we're gonna smooch all over town. Heh. <laughs> What's the matter, Elena? You're blushing. <laughs> smooch all over town. Gotta use that sometime. <laughs> Besides, I tried lots of people. And there's a legend about people becoming attracted to each other instantly. Uh, actually, we didn't exactly become... Elena? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I mean, no? <laughs> That's right, we're only traveling together, on business. Hey, why do you look upset, Elena? Oh, you can't win with that girl. I want a, cu a, a couple on a date. Oh, my boyfriend is working today. I wish he could be with me, I'm so mad. Wait, you're mistaken, we are not on a date, right, Ryudo? Ah, uh, yeah, whatever you say. Ah, oh, come on, girl, if you're lonely, you can join us for a bit. Oh, I shouldn't be saying things like that. Naughty, naughty gamesmith. Hey, hey, Mr. Do you want to learn something special? I know the secret for catching goldfish. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to talk to this person. 
Ooh, now that sounds like a marketable skill. Hmm. Okay, what's the secret? Yeah, okay, here you go. Uh, here's the secret, the key method for catching goldfish. Ready, the secret of catching goldfish is to smile. Smile? That's right, smile. These siren goldfish just love to have fun. If they see you smiling, they'll let you catch them. Ah, you can't be serious. Well, jeez. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Hello? So, uh, lady, how about buying some ribbon? If you dance with this ribbon floating behind you, you look so beautiful. Ah, it's pretty. It'll, and it'll definitely look good on you. Oh, well, if you say so, you don't. Ah, huh, this sure is a long ribbon. Yep, it's the best to have a ribbon that's about twice the length of your tail. Ribbon that's about twice the length of your tail works best for dancing, and your tail is, uh... Uh, excuse me. None of us have any tails. Yeah, you're looking at her backside. But, oh, sorry, I didn't know. I get it now. That's why you're going to put it in your hair. You don't have a tail. Oh, I could have a field day with this, but I better not. All right. Actually, what I want to look for first before I, uh... Do much of anything else, I don't want to knock that over. I want to look for that uh, gold fishing game now. Here we go. A little while ago, we saw those four strangely costumed people over by the port. Are they actors? The girly looking guy, the leader, I think, said, We're going to show you our best act now. But they didn't start anything. I think I have heard of that troop before. Hmm. Actually, do you have anything more? The foreman troop that looked like street performers, they were working hard to get something prepared, but then nothing. It seemed like they didn't even want to start. I wonder what the problem was. Oh, maybe it's the troop that uh, Rowan was with. Welcome to Simon's famous goldfish stand. Want to test your skill on catching goldfish? Very simple. Use the special fishing line to catch goldfish in the tank. We've got great prizes for good catches. Hmm. Now, uh, you want to let Elena do this, and uh, you won't be able to win until you have talked to that kid about uh, doing the about how to catch goldfish. How about you, young lady? Give it a try. Just hold the line like this. Okay, good luck. Elena, smile. Okay, Sky, leave it to me. Smile like this, eh? Aw, she's cute. Hey, I caught one. Very good. This young lady knows how to catch goldfish. Here you go. A prize for you. Another pop hat. Alright. So, uh, we'll be able to get one more of these later, but uh, we'll leave that alone for now. I want to follow the compass arrow. Hello? My, my, it's so uncommon to see a chiwa hound and a sister of the church as a couple. Oh, you recognize us as what we are. But you two do look good together. Do you mind if I write about you two in my current book? <laughs> huh? You mean about Ryudo and I? Well, I am. As long as we're okay with Ryudo, I guess so. My answer is definitely yes. Sure, it's okay, but just write about me for now. If you write well about me, well then. And there is no need to write about me? Is that what you mean? <laughs> that was great, thanks. Okay. Oh dear, there's no pad is torn. Oh well, no choice but to use it. Let's see. What? Beedo, am I exhausted or imagining things? I think I just saw him eat that note paper. No, I think maybe it's the old guy that's gone completely nuts. Hey, Geezer, are you doing alright? <laughs> By the way, you're talking? I guess you've never seen this Yamu product before. It's edible paper. Oh. Okay then. Yamu's philosophy is our business, so we like to keep paper at on hand at all times, so we came up with this edible paper. Of course, it's best to have when you're on the move. Paper starts to weigh a lot and gets kind of bulky. That's great and all, until you end up eating ordinary paper. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. Hey there, I'm selling fruit. Take a look at my satchel. Wow, you have all kinds of fruit there. That one there, is that really edible? Sure it is, you can eat them all. Eat them. They won't hurt you. What do you say? Give one a try. Um, I'll try the small purple one. Oh, it's called Love Berries. I'm not all these will make you amorous. So what do you say, you two? Ah, uh, well, I really do not think so. No, thanks. We don't need them. Like, what kind of stuff are you selling anyway? Is it really fruit? Sounds more like Viagra. Okay, let's... What if we try the other one? The green squarish one. Welcome back. This one's called Mindful Melon. It works great on scatterbrained people. Hey, that's a good one, Elena. You should load up on that. He said it's good for space cases like you. Cut it out, Ryudo. Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> I'm not scatterbrained. Am I? Uh, 
So anyway, this is actually the place we want to be, and this is the guy we want to talk to. But can he help us find the Grana Saber? You'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Grandia 2. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.